Let's talk about the feature freeze bar. Now this is a tool you're going to want to use if you're looking to optimize the performance of your SOLIDWORKS models, especially if you're having long rebuild times or even if you're experiencing some stability issues whenever you do rebuild your models. The freeze bar is this yellow bar at the top of your feature tree and it works by dragging it down through the tree. Everything that is above it will be frozen or locked. Now this means that it can't be edited, but that also means that it will be excluded from the rebuild. The padlock symbol and the change in the text indicates that the features are frozen. As you can see, you can't do much with them. Here, as we check the rebuild times using performance evaluation, we see that the longest rebuild time features, like the large and heavy surfacing commands, have been excluded, and our rebuild time for this model is now just over a reasonable one second. So let's talk about turning it on. You'll notice here you don't see the freeze bar on my SOLIDWORKS system. Your system probably looks like this. Out of the box, the freeze bar is turned off. So how do you enable it? It's easy. It's just a system option that can be enabled by going to your SOLIDWORKS options and check in the box here to enable it. And now you'll notice that it appears at the top of the tree and I can use the freeze bar.